thingy. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome to yet another edition of the Nintendo News Roundup. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I, I actually had a number of people uh, tell me that it's hard to see which roundups they have watched because the red on the logo part of the thumbnail makes it hard to see the little red bar. And I thought that was a really, really good point. So after thousands of man hours of tireless research and experimentation, we have finally settled on moving the logo part to the top of the thumbnail. And I uh, thank you for anyone who, who uh, talked to me about this because that was a very good point. Fixed now. Here at the Roundup, we're listening. Old Uncle Arlo and second cousin Kane are listening. Anyway, on with the news. In what I would say is the biggest story of the week, the Economic Daily News is reporting that multiple sources, quote, within the supply chain are saying that there will be a new Switch model next year. There aren't a lot of specifics, but it does seem to be hinting at something of a Switch Pro, as we've all been talking about for ages now. Um, it says better, a, a Switch with better image quality and interactivity. Do not know what that means. And obviously a rumor is a rumor and you never know if it's true or not. Personally, I'm like 99% sure this is real. It's just like, this keeps happening, this generation. It has been happening for the last few years. Just about all of these end up being true. Um, the year that Nintendo released the Switch Lite and then the Switch with the better battery life, the same thing happened. People in the supply chain said, there are two new models of Switch coming this year. And we all said, that's weird. That doesn't seem super, like two of them? Nintendo hasn't said anything. They were 100% right. The specific details, um, I don't believe they had exactly right, but there were two new SKUs coming and there were. They were completely right. And so they're doing it again. <laughs> I, I once again have no reason to believe that this is not true and that a new model won't be coming next year. I feel that a pro model is a complete inevitability. It's become industry standard. Um, it would be one thing if Nintendo themselves hadn't yet dipped their toe into that, but they did with the new 3DS. Um, and so everybody else is doing it too. Um, this year was like, eh, it was kind of iffy. It's still kind of in the first half of the Switch's life. So it was always a possibility um, next year, if not this year, then definitely next year. And I, maybe it was supposed to be this year and it got delayed. Um, but I don't know if it comes next year, if they ended up releasing it, especially like in the spring or something that could coincide with Breath of the Wild 2. I'm basically certain at this point that we're going to get an upgraded Switch. They're going to package it with Zelda or just, you know, say, hey, but Zelda will be better with it. Um, so anyway, I could go into a whole entire thing. I'd probably do a whole video about it if I let myself, but I'm pretty sure it's real. I mean, just... It just keeps happening. So as we talked about last week, there were a lot of rumors going around about a potential Nintendo Direct or Nintendo broadcast of some kind. Venture Beats' Jeff Grubb, who has actually made some good calls before, claimed that there was a very strong possibility of a Nintendo presentation coming up, and then obviously the fact that Nintendo always does a Nintendo Direct pretty soon after an indie presentation. We just had the indie presentation. Unfortunately, I think the most likely outcome is the one that ended up happening. We got another uh, Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, and uh, and based on the two that we've gotten, it seems that this is going to be like a once a month thing. To me personally, this is kind of like this. The second Partner Showcase is like I don't know. It's oh, it's very very strong evidence that we're not getting a Nintendo Direct anytime soon. Otherwise, they would just wait. When Nintendo has something to reveal, they just give it to us. When uh, third party people have something to reveal, they're putting it in one of these. There's no reason at all to actually get an official Nintendo Direct anytime soon. Not with this new format that they have established. By the end of the year, maybe, but still probably not, at least not in the next several months. This, this, this um, seems to be a complete replacement. As for the partner showcase itself, um, I don't have any really strong highlights. Um, it didn't have like, like the last one only had a few titles, but at least like for uh, Shin Megami Tensei fans, that was like one really big thing for them. Um, in this case, it was a lot more smaller announcements, uh, but there were more of them. It was just a, it was a much larger selection of them, which did make it a little more, uh, I don't know, slightly more entertaining to me, even if there was nothing in there that really interested me specifically. But I maintain that it's a pretty good format, and in the absence of Nintendo Directs, I think we are quite lucky 
to still have this. If there are any really big third party announcements, maybe we could still get like some big exciting moment in one of these, even if we know it's not gonna be Nintendo related. It's, it's better than nothing. <laughs> That's basically it. So according to a report uh, and Nintendo's own financial reports, Nintendo is now the single richest company in Japan. Um, they were the second richest last year, and then obviously the Switch and Animal Crossing have really basically just given them this year. Just that, that, just that one game alone is really just making this a really great year. It is not surprising that they are doing so well. However, it is surprising that they are the richest because there are a lot of very large industries out there. Um, the second richest uh, is apparently Shin Etsu Chemical. I would assume that a chemical company could be providing chemicals for a great number of things, a great number of different industries across the world. I would think that that would be a much bigger industry than video games, but apparently not. Maybe it has something to do with, um, you know, uh, th this is like how much money they're making versus they're spending, how much money they've got in the bank. Maybe it's because it doesn't cost as much to run a video game company. So when it's really successful, it's very successful. Whereas maybe it's harder to run, you know, a more traditional company in a more traditional industry. According to this report, Nintendo's got about 8 billion bucks tucked away in the bank, just kind of sitting there, not doing much of anything. I could, I could uh, give them a few, uh, a tiny handful of ideas of what they could be doing with that money. It seems to be going to waste sitting there. If you ask me, well, it's a whole different discussion for another day, I suppose. Nintendo Dream is a Japanese magazine, and according to them, the September issue of the magazine will reveal a game that, quote, everyone will enjoy. That is basically all of the information that we have, just some sort of game reveal that everyone, that's that's big words right there. Everyone will enjoy, you're, you're reaching a little far with that one, unless it's like actually a legitimately huge thing that they're revealing. Um, that doesn't seem super likely to me. A magazine doesn't, especially now with like the Twitter and everything how it is, a magazine doesn't seem the, the best place to reveal just waiting for everybody to read it and then tweet it themselves. So it's hard for me to believe that it's actually gonna be a big announcement. However, whenever there is an opportunity for an announcement, we are all obligated to go completely crazy and over expect, because that's what we do. The Pokemon Company claims that they will soon be addressing the presence of hacked Pokemon in Pokemon Home. They say these Pokemon with altered attributes are kind of messing up the whole system. And according to uh, the comments of pretty much any article about this, <laughs> apparently hacked Pokemon are a pretty big problem, as I would imagine that they were. They don't really say what they are going to do about these Pokemon, but they do say the altered Pokemon addressed in this notice cannot be obtained through any of Pokemon Home's trading systems or through normal gameplay in any game in the Pokemon series. Um, that's a weird thing to say. Uh, how are you going to address... The, I mean, are they, are they trying to say, no, 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 you you, you haven't gotten any of these Pokemon. Are, are, we, are they going to delete them? I don't know how that's the case if everybody knows that there are a bunch of hacked Pokemon that are floating around. So... Uh, Seems kind of unclear to me, but however, I if they are able to do it, if they're able and willing to put in the work, obviously it would just be a good thing to get rid of hacked Pokemon in the game. Speaking of packet monsters, uh, there's an alleged leak that has been floating around for an upcoming episode of the Pokemon anime. I don't know how common episode leaks are, but uh, this leak claims that Pikachu is going to finally evolve into Raichu. This has obviously made a good number of people upset at the thought of it. Um, my thought is, it's the Pokemon company. 20 something years later, on their big, their, their, their big new home console adventures and they're still using Game Boy noises. You think they're gonna evolve Pikachu? <laughs> Shouldn't have laughed like that. I'll laugh more normally. Ha ha ha! That's a very funny thought. They're not gonna evolve Pikachu. They're never gonna evolve Pikachu. It's never gonna happen. I don't care if this leak came from an official Pokemon source themselves. They said, I'm the lead animator for the show. Look, I have proof. I have the video. I'm showing you the actual video from the episode, it's voice acted and everything, and it shows Pikachu evolving. 
I will still not believe it. <laughs> I will never believe it. Even just in my short time watching the anime when I was a preteen, even just during that couple year period, there were more like fake outs and will they won't days than I could even count. In other earth shattering news, Nintendo is partnering with Lunchables to give away 750 prize packages, including a Switch and a few download titles. Okay, it's not actually the most exciting news in the world. However, I will take any opportunity I can to bring up something that will spark an anecdote. You remember Lunchables? Did you eat Lunchables? Lunchables was that thing that I had for lunch every single day, even though I really did not like them at all. They were just gross, just dry meat and the gross pizza one and the crack, it was never good. But I never had anything else for lunch and I never complained and I do not understand why. Okay, well obviously the Reese's and the Capri Sun, you can't go wrong there, that's sugar. So that was great. The rest of it left something to be desired though, such as the Kraft American pasteurized prepared cheese product. Was never a big fan of that one. Nintendo of Japan have released a new trailer for Pikmin 3 Deluxe, notable mostly because throughout the trailer, there are all of these little like 2D animated sequences, which are very, very, very adorable. I don't know what's with Nintendo and the whole thing where like the red Pikmin like, like lie on their side, like holding their head up. I, that's just too funny for me. I'm hoping they do a Western version of this trailer. I don't see why they wouldn't. They put all the effort in to do the animating and stuff. Um, so it just makes sense. And speaking of Pikmin, I actually forgot to talk about this story when it came out a week or two ago or whatever, but depending on where, like what region and what retailer you pre-order the game from, you can get some goodies, such as a microfiber cloth and a Pikmin coffee cup. Not much of a coffee drinker myself, but I mean, you put Pikmin on it and I suddenly become interested. Mario Glue, Pikmin Coffee, bring it on, man. Eagle-eyed Twitter user Comet Metal has made a an incredible discovery. Apparently in the original art for Super Mario Galaxy, the, uh, the starry background behind Mario was created using an actual photograph of the Andromeda Galaxy. Now, one might say, well, Arlo, this is probably just the art team getting a picture of some stars in order to make a game about the space and put the on the cover to make the people buy the game about the space. But hardcore theorists such as myself know that this means the Mario series is canonically located entirely on the real actual earth that we live on now, meaning that the Mushroom Kingdom is, is a, either an alternate reality or a distant future or past, this is all, Solid, solid proof of this, believe me. Even though, I mean, to be fair, it's definitely not at all. <laughs> at all! You know how this goes, this is Roundup, this is my show. I can talk about anything I want. If I wanna waste your time, I will. And if you don't like it, you can stop watching. Please don't stop watching, I'm really sorry I wasted your time. I won't do it again. And speaking of mildly interesting stories that may or may not waste your time, in the trailer for the Switch version of the Blair Witch game that came out fairly recently, apparently the marketing department there very cleverly hid a real code for Animal Crossing New Horizons that actually gets you a hoodie, a Blair Witch inspired hoodie. They put this in the trailer and nobody found it. It's one of those things like, ah, I wonder who's gonna find this. No one did, not a person did, as far as anyone knows. So they had to just be like, okay, well, hey, everybody, we put a code, <laughs> we, put a co we put a code in there. Um, I think it's a, I mean, it's, it's the Animal Crossing, it's the marketing thing, everyone's getting in on it. And I will never stop thinking that it's just kind of amusing. I mean, that's going deep there. Like, even when you just skim the trailer, like, I don't, I don't even know where it is. <laughs> But apparently that was worth it for them to put an Animal Crossing code in the trailer just because Animal Crossing, because why not? Well, my darling friends, that is it for this edition of the Nintendo News Roundup. Thank you for allowing me to waste your time. Have a wonderful day. And also, I love you.